Okay, YouTubers, I got a mystery for you. Um, basically, the brakes just went out on my blazer. Out of the blue, the pedal started feeling a little soft. Then it got to where, you know, it was actually affecting the ability of the brakes to work. Lo and behold, I got home, and my friend Richard's like, well, it looks like it's been leaking. Sure enough, the backside, I believe it was the backside reservoir was empty, and the front still had some had some juice. So I was like, well, that's probably why I had a little bit of brakes. I said, but this dang thing just almost had no brake pedal at all. So uh, we filled up the master cylinder reservoir on both sides. He got inside and started pumping the pedal. We didn't take very long to figure out what had happened. Here's what we found. All right, this, who knows what it is, an adapter with some kind of a relief. If you guys see this little hole, that little tiny hole is where all that brake fluid was squirting out. The only thing that was sealing that little hole was a rubber gasket. Now this could be cork, but to me, when I pinch it, it feels like it's rubber, but it's got just a small gasket that sat down in that hole and this little star washer, hopefully you guys can see that, that little star washer is all that locked that little pad down inside that hole. Well, what had happened, it, it had popped that star washer off and it was just kind of hanging there. And the, of course, without the star washer snapped into its groove, the little rubber seal didn't seal anything. So it like, basically was just sitting there, every time you'd build up pressure in the rear line, it would leak out of that hole. All right, so, and naturally as a good YouTuber, I didn't know what the world it was, so I jumped on my Google search and did all kinds of searches. S10, prop valve leaking, bad prop valve, insert search criteria here. Lo and behold, there's a ton of uh, threads on the various S10 websites. Plus, I believe some of the Camaro sites had it. All kinds of GM vehicles. Talk about this little hole springing a leak for no apparent reason. Here's the odd part of it. No one on the internet so far in any of the forums can tell me A, what is this hole? What's its name? Why is it there? When something goes bad internally in my prop valve, why is this there to relieve pressure and make it leak? You know what I'm saying? Nobody knows. Everybody, not everybody, will say a majority of people identified where the leak was at, but nobody could tell me what this little, you know, I'm just going to call it a relief valve of some kind. No one could tell me why it's there, what it's an indication of, nothing. All the threads, you go to read through them, read through them, get to the very bottom. Okay, what they find out? What caused it? What's the root? Nothing. Everybody just goes out and buys a new prop valve, puts it back together, and drives down the road. Well, I had seen one of those Saturday morning uh, car shows, fix-it car shows, whatever, oh, a couple years ago, that talked about if you had a prop valve that was disc drum, uh, all you had to do was take the valving out of it, you know, hook the back line back up and just plug this front, and it instantly becomes a 50-50 distribution block. So basically what they were saying was just a poor boy or cheap way to convert this to a 50-50 distribution prop valve is you just take these, I don't know, valves out of the uh, body, hook, hook your line back up to the back, plug the front, and it now becomes a 50-50 distribution with an asterisk that says, okay, now when you can't adjust your pressures, you're going to have 50-50 to front and rear brakes at the 
pretty much the same time. So you have to be safe and be aware that when you don't have your, now forgive me if this isn't the correct numbers, if you don't have like the 60, 40, 70, 30, whatever the distribution percentages normally are for a disc disc brake setup, you do have run the chance on a on what they were calling a panic stop or an unforeseen emergency stop uh, locking up your rear brakes, which you lose stopping efficiency when your rear brakes lock up and skid instead of bringing your car to a stop. Okay, hope, hope, hope everybody follows that. <clears throat> that's my asterisk, that's my insert disclaimer here because, you know, we're following something we learned on a Saturday morning from two guys that are rebuilding a car. We're just kind of following their little suggestion that you can convert a disc drum prop valve into a 50-50 disc disc by eliminating the internal valving. Okay, here's my first problem. When I pulled this apart, and I haven't even cleaned it out yet, guys, you cannot believe the amount you can see down in there. See all that black pieces throughout that proportioning valve? Those are pieces of rubber, guys. I pulled this apart with no undue force. Nothing was, you know, stuck per se. And literally, look at all these pieces. Look at all this rubber. This is throughout the entire prop valve. All this rubber was breaking down and deteriorating inside this prop valve that I bought from LMC Truck. I don't know. That doesn't seem like a good endorsement for them. Also, if you look at this, this is the rear proportioning shuttle or valve or whatever. This thing is completely deteriorated and full of rubber. Who knows what that originally started out looking like. This uh, O-ring is torn and horribly misshapen on that part of the shuttle. This one's not horrible. I mean, it's a little laid up right here. I hope you guys can see that in the video. You can see that gap. You know, all the O-rings inside this thing were just dying. Like the O-rings weren't compatible with brake fluid because I've only had new fresh brake fluid in this entire brake system since I first got the thing running. You know, this, this O-ring goes on the end of this, which seals the rear part of your prop valve and hooks to your rear brake line distribution. So even if I find a way, because this is hollow, guys. This is like a restrictor. I'm going to say this is some kind of a restricted orifice to the rear brakes, which automatically is going to delay the rear brake activation over your front brakes with no restriction, especially when I take out this spring-loaded piston. But here's my point I'm trying to make. If I take and find a way to plug this hole, essentially eliminating this little no-name pressure release hole, since nobody can tell me what it's for, there's literally nothing inside of there. So if I plug that hole where it doesn't leak anymore, and again, I'm inserting my disclaimer at this time. I'm going to eliminate both those pieces, and I'm going to seal the front, and I'm gonna find a way to seal that hole so that I can still have my adapter to go to my brake line because look, you guys can see that huge threaded bomber gomer. It's way bigger than a brake line. But I wanted to make a video real quick just kind of showing you what in the world I got myself into. Correct me if I'm wrong, because you know, I've been wrong several times in my life. You would want to use a rubber that's 100% compatible with brake fluid inside a proportioning valve. And I'm going to try to see if I can wrangle up a way to poor boy, poor boy racing. We're at it again. We're going to try to find a way to safely 
and securely seal that hole because you know brakes make a lot of pressure and I'm gonna find a way I'm gonna have to seal this hole because hello that cap is hollow and it's a fine thread that I didn't have any pipe plugs for. Okay, problem number one I believe is solved. I took the plug that goes in the end of it and I ran a quarter. Uh, what I actually had to do was take, what did I do with it? Here it is, an old Harbor Freight quarter inch tap. I had to grind the tip off of it and make, a, make it a bottoming tap. And I basically, was able to get some threads into the inside of this little plug that goes in the end of the prop valve. I just happen to have a quarter inch short uh, plug. So we're going to throw some red Loctite on there and cinch that down. The threads are, I'm going to call them decent, not great. But the plug I'm trying to put in here will actually come from the inside out. Basically had to gut out this adapter piece and take the guts out of it, which was this spring assembly and this cap. Of course, I kind of tore that up trying to get it to unscrew. So hopefully that'll work as a true, I don't know, I'm going to give this project about a 40% chance of working because I just can't imagine how the brakes are going to respond or how they're going to act when you have, <clears throat> I don't know, you're just going to have full 50-50% distribution to front and rear brakes as soon as you put pressure on the master cylinder. So it's not going to have... I don't want to say a breakaway point, but with these spring-loaded assemblies, then wouldn't you have, like where the master cylinder would have to reach a certain amount of pressure before it would actually push on the brakes. But if I take out both of those spring-loaded assemblies front and rear, then it's full-time 50-50, no pressure, uh, minimum pressure to apply brakes as soon as you touch the brake pedal and create any type of pressure it should be activating the brakes my concern is if you don't have these pressure springs to overcome to put pressure to the brakes is it going to cause the brakes to drag could it put potentially like put pressure to the brake pads that doesn't release very well because you don't have these spring-loaded assemblies. I don't know. This is a true test of ignorance because, I mean, worst case scenario, guys, if I had to buy another prop valve, I was gonna have to do that anyway. So why not save the, I don't know, 60 to $200 for a new prop valve and just try to do the 50-50 deal, you know, maybe I'm going way overboard with all the parts I'm removing, because keep in mind, I've only seen that show once that mentioned <laughs> gutting the prop valve and making it a 50-50, but basically the only way I could find to plug this little tiny hole was to drill it out, tap it to a quarter, one quarter, 20 or whatever that is, and put another one of those plugs in there with some red Loctite. So I'm gonna let that cure, let that red Loctite cure that set, that hole. And same thing on this one. You guys can see that. Drilled and tapped it and put in one of them real short. Uh, quarter twenty. I'm pretty sure it's a quarter twenty plugs. We're gonna throw this thing together half half heartedly almost use that a word you see it almost flip in on me we're gonna throw this thing on the car and see if it works okay guys here's the final assembled gutted uh, disc drum proportioning valve you can see right here hopefully it doesn't leak we won't know till we try 